Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of With a Like Butter. It's your girl Ashley, and today we're going to make an eggnog pancake, y'all. You can use your favorite eggnog, but we're going to use this Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog, y'all. It's delicious. We'll definitely knock your socks off. We're using it in the cake, and we're also using it in our icing. It's going to be eggnog city, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to show you how it's done. Let's go. Okay, y'all, ingredients are on the screen, and we're getting ready to whip the light butter. So we're going to go ahead and start by adding our room temperature unsalted butter right into our mixing bowl. You're going to need three sticks of butter, okay? And of course, you can use a hand mixer or a sand mixer, either one. So we're going to get that blending, and then we're going to go ahead and add our granulated sugar. Slow, slow, slow. Slowly add your granulated sugar. Slow is the way. I don't know what it is about it, but adding it slowly definitely makes a difference. So while that's mixing, I'm going ahead and adding my uh, salt and baking powder and nutmeg into my flour mixture. And then I'm going to set that to the side while I finish putting this cake together. Okay, so your butter should look like that when it's all nice and blended. Couple, like two or three minutes, you know, until it's light and fluffy. I'm going to go ahead and scrape down the sides of the bowl. And then I'm going to go ahead and start adding the eggs. Eggs are also at room temperature, and you want to add them one at a time, and you want to um, mix just until they're added, and then stop because you don't want to overmix your cake. Add the vanilla, like I said, mix, and then stop. All right, so this is how it should look. We're going to go ahead and start with our flour mixture, and we're going to alternate with that eggnog. So I'm just showing you here, like, where you need to stop. So as soon as I don't see like you know any more like white streaks where it's blending I stop you see how it's just combined okay and then add the eggnog and as soon as you see that it's not so like of a wet batter anymore you stop and then you go ahead and add your flour and then you keep alternating you can do like three and three but you want to start with the flour mixture and you want to end with the flour mixture okay so I'm just showing you how you know all that's incorporated and I just sped it up here so you can see the process and you see here the batter is not well mixed because I don't want to over mix the batter so I finished the last part with the spoon you typically have to you know make sure that everything is incorporated from the bottom of the pan and the sides of the pan anyway so it's good to go ahead and get in there with the spoon so as always we're gonna spray the hell out that pan because we don't do any sticking over here and then we're gonna lay that batter right there in to your pan so I just did this in two parts um, and smooth the top with the first part and then laid the rest of the batter down in there because I didn't want it to clump. So you want to make sure if you're going to do it in two parts like that, that you um, spread your uh, batter, that first layer, before adding your next layer so it's all nice and smooth and you don't have any like unevenly cooked pieces or parts of your cake. All right, smooth the top, pop it in the oven, 325 degrees for 75 minutes. We let it cool for 20 minutes before we went ahead and inverted that thing. And baby, look, ain't that pretty? That cake is so beautiful, y'all. Okay, so we're going to go with our glaze right here. So we're adding our vanilla, and then we're doing a little melted butter. And then I have some eggnog here. I always tell you all, add your, your like, your eggnog or rather if you're using heavy cream or milk a little bit at a time um because you don't want to add too much and then you may not have enough like here it wasn't the consistency that i wanted so i just added a little more until i got it right so there's measurements for your um your icing but you want to make the icing your own so take it slowly make sure you have some extra if you feel like you need a little bit more so you can get the glaze the way you like because it's important for you to have it the way that you like it we don't all like our glaze the same way okay so you see i hear hit it here with a little bit more eggnog and you definitely want to use eggnog because you want that eggnog infused flavor for this cake and then we're going to lay it on there like slow so and then we're going to sprinkle it with a little nutmeg for a little color that's definitely optional but i think it really added you know a nice little pizzazz to this cake and made it feel even you know it's more like the holidays you know that's coming up perfect cake for that time all right here we go with our taste test we gotta get right to the little icing part icing and cake mm. 
Mm. You know what? This is delicious. And it tastes exactly like that eggnog. Like for real, for real. Of course, I want y'all to enjoy this cake like me. So go ahead and get in that description box below and grab this recipe. Ingredients are there. I'll also post a link to the actual recipe. Scroll down and you can find all the details in one place in the recipe card. But make sure you don't be stingy. Make sure that you share, like, subscribe, and come back for more over here with the like button. Bye.